All right, you guys, it is 9.17 a.m. Tuesday. Uh, it's day three. Let me go ahead and change this. All right, so it's day three. Uh, if you guys recognize this menu, first movie that I'm going to be watching is 28 Days Later, a film by Danny Boyle. Uh, I'm not a huge Danny Boyle fan, but I do like some of his movies. Um, I, I like his older stuff a lot more than his newer stuff, like uh, 127 Hours and Slumdog Millionaire. Uh, they are really good movies. Don't hate. But uh, I did not think the Slumdog Millionaire deserved the Oscar that it got. Uh, I was hoping for something else to get it. But uh, yeah, really, uh, really good zombie movie. If, for all the zombie fans out there, I'm sure you guys have seen it. For all the for all the horror fans out there, I'm sure you've seen it too. If you haven't, it's a really it's a really fun movie. Really, really good. I mean, there's not much that a person can do with a zombie movie. They're zombies. You don't want to die. You run. They chase. I mean, pretty simple story. But uh, yeah, this movie definitely made a big impact in the film industry just because uh, it was done on a very low budget and uh, it, it succeeded. I mean, a lot of people really enjoyed this movie, especially because zombie movies weren't as big as they are now. I mean, now we have a zombie show. Uh, there's zombie movies coming out all the time, even if they go straight to DVD. I mean, they are everywhere. But uh, this is a really good movie, very fun. This is number one for day three. I'm going to go ahead and pop this in and watch it. So uh, my question to you guys is, what would be the first thing you guys do if you were to wake up and not find anyone around? I mean, not a body, dead or alive. You just wake up and there's nobody around anywhere what would be the first thing you guys do Hello? me probably go back to sleep <laughs> the reason it's still so good is because it's not just a zombie movie like other zombie movies the reason this movie stands its place it's because it's not about zombies. It's about humanity. It's about survival. Yes, there are zombies in the movie, but it's not just a zombie movie. It's about people dealing with people, whether they're dead or alive. It's about humanity. Definitely makes me think, what would I do? <laughs> okay, so after watching this movie, I just decided that if this were to ever happen, I want to find people that are exactly like Jim and just like Selena. Because they are the definition of survival and the definition of badass. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what time it is. It is 11.10. Still the same date. And, uh... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pop in the next movie. So what I'm going to watch next, because I watched uh, 28 Days Later, is I can't help it. I have to watch the next one, 28 Weeks Later. Uh, a lot of people didn't really like this one. I think it's okay. Actually, I, I yeah, I'll say that I like it. Uh, it's pretty good. But I, I really like the first one a lot more. I think um, the way I look at it is I appreciate it for what it is because it was very risky to make. Uh, the filmmakers, they knew what they were making, but they weren't exactly sure how the, the audience were going to respond to it just because the whole zombie thing wasn't as big as it was today. So yeah, I'll go ahead and watch the second one. It's not as long as the first one. Uh, I believe it's like an hour and a half. The first one's two hours long. So uh, yeah, very glad.
While the movie is starting, um, like I said, it's a little after 11, uh, I'm hungry. By now, by day three, you guys should know that uh, mm -hmm. I always have a late breakfast. Mm -hmm. But the movie is playing. I've seen it before, and I'm not going to pause it. And the reason I'm not going to pause it is because I'm only going to get a bowl of cereal. I'm not in the mood to uh, cook. And my wife, my wife just left. She had a few errands to run. And uh, she took the boys with her, which means I have an empty house. So I'm not in the mood to make myself any breakfast. So I'm just going to get a bowl of cereal and make that my breakfast. I'm having Fruit Loops. And why do I keep them in here? Because they stay fresh. Some people are selfish. Plain and simple. Okay, uh, the the killing with the helicopter whenever Doyle is trying to protect the children and the tall grass whenever he kills like 80 to 100 zombies at the same time with the helicopter like s severing all of their heads probably the greatest kill ever in movie history well, if this movie teaches us anything, it's definitely that if the, if the zombie apocalypse ever does happen, don't even try to survive because we don't stand a chance. Who said movies can't be educational? Alright, so it's almost 1 o'clock. Uh, I think it's about 10 till. Wife just got home with the kids. Gonna go ahead and fix some lunch and after that, uh, we'll see what happens, alright? All right, so I just got done helping my wife out making lunch for the kids. Uh, went ahead and decided on what to watch next. Uh, earlier this morning, I was talking about Danny Boyle and how uh, I do like his work, but I'm not like a huge Danny Boyle fan. Uh, and how I liked his earlier work a lot more than his latest work. Uh, Slumdog Millionaire is a good movie, but like I said earlier, I did not believe that it deserved an Oscar. I didn't think that it was an Oscar-worthy film. But uh, yeah, a cult classic of his is definitely Train Spotting. This movie really creeped me out whenever, whenever I first saw it. Sorry about the glare. Whenever I first saw it years ago, it really creeped me out. I think I was like maybe 12, 13 years old. It was on TV and yes, it was edited. Uh, watched it anyways, really creeped me out. Uh, if it taught me anything, it was to never do strong drugs because they will ruin my life. All right, so as you guys can see, it is 1.03 p.m. and it's still Tuesday. All right, so day three, I'm gonna go ahead and put number three in and sit down and enjoy it. The worst toilet in Scotland. I don't care how bad I have to go. If I walked into a restroom that looked like that, I'm gonna turn around and find somewhere else to go. Not only that, but there is nothing in this world that I can think of that would have me uh, dig my hands into the toilet for if it falls in it stays in understood especially after i took a big giant dump in there yeah screw that for a movie that deals with drug use the rise and fall of being a drug addict heroin how people can easily lose everything. It's really funny and very poetic. I think that's what makes it really good. Going through detox has to be the worst thing ever. Mentally, physically, I mean, I can't even imagine. All right, you guys, it is 2.12 p.m. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it. The kids just woke up from their nap, so uh, I'm gonna let them watch the show. And I also have to go pick up my daughter from school, so whenever I get back, I will 
go ahead and finish the movie. I only have about a half an hour left. As of right now, Mark is clean. He got a new job. He's selling apartments. And Tommy has AIDS. So, yeah, I only got a half an hour left. But uh, I'll go ahead and pause it right now and continue whenever I get back. Holy crap, it's a hot day. Uh, leaving right now to pick up my daughter from school. I will probably be parked there for about a half an hour like I always am because traffic is crazy. But lucky for me, it's right down the street. I'll be there in no time and hopefully I'll be home in no time. Continue my move. All right, I want everyone, I want you guys to see what time it is, okay? It is 2.50... Was that 252, 253? Yeah, I mean, I told you, it's always a long wait. Uh, the line is really long, and uh, she, she, I mean, she gets out at 245, so we should be moving soon. But uh, I wanted to ask you guys if any of you are parents and you guys pick up your kids from school, is it like this everywhere? It is unbelievable. I mean, I'm looking at all the cars, and there are a lot of them. It's my first year doing it. First time that, uh, first first kid that goes to school, really proud of her. But I did not know it was like this. All right, you guys, I am back home. It is 3.24. I've been home for about 15 minutes. Man, you can't see that at all. Can you see that one? Hold on, there we go. It's 3.24. I've been home for about 10, 15 minutes. The kids are watching a show right now. And uh, I'm a little hungry. I'm also thirsty. It was really hot outside, so I got myself some water because water is good for you. If you're not drinking water, make sure you do. All right, for dinner, I'm gonna have a spicy chicken sandwich with lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise, cheese, and pickles my water and tater tots i know it's i know it's not the greatest thing ever but i'm a huge tater tot guy i love tater tots all right it is 3 57 p.m what do you say we get back to the movie and finish it like i said earlier i only have a half an hour left so i'm gonna go ahead and pop it in finish it and move on to the next one it is 4 28 p.m just got done watching Train Spotting, and the wife is home with groceries. So I'm gonna help her put them away, and then I'll come back and talk about the movie and let you guys know what I'm watching next. Okay, it's a huge coincidence. I promise I didn't plan on doing this. Uh, and just to make things clear, I'm not a big Danny Boyle fan. I'm a movie fan, and if certain filmmakers happen to make good movies, then I'm going to like them. Coincidentally, I know that this morning I watched 28, we, uh, 28 Days Later, and then I just got done watch Train Spotting. Which, by the way, if it teaches me anything, it's don't do drugs, don't steal from your friends, don't steal from your parents, stay away from all bad things. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it, definitely check it out. It's awesome, very entertaining, very funny, and disturbing at the same time. But, what I'm going to watch next is another Danny Boyle film. Uh... It's really good. I really, really like this one. It's very short. It goes by very quickly. And it's such a simple story. I love movies like that. It goes to show that uh, a movie doesn't need a huge budget or a lot of twists and turns and a lot of things going on. Uh, you can have a story as simple as this and succeed in creating a good film. 127 hours. Uh, starring James Franco. If you guys haven't seen this, it's a really good drama. You guys have to watch it. It's very intense. Simple story. Guy is stuck for about a week, I believe. He falls down a cliff. Uh, his arm gets stuck between a uh, big rock and a wall. Uh, he's there for five to six days and has to survive, has to decide what to do to get out of this situation because he is in the middle of nowhere. Based on a true story, if you guys haven't seen it, you gotta watch it. Alright you guys, it is 5.30 p.m. As you can see, it's still Tuesday. Gonna go, go ahead and uh, start the next one. 15 minutes in, he packs his things, grabs his backpack, gets on his bike, leaves. 
he falls down the cliff, gets his arm stuck. And then you see the title. 15 minute intro. I really like it when movies just, they get straight to the point. For those of you that wear contacts, what do you think they taste like? I mean, if you know, let me know. Watching him get thirsty definitely makes me thirsty. So I'm gonna get myself some to drink. Not only that, but I'm about an hour in, which means very soon, he's gonna remove that arm. Orange strawberry banana, yum. Do you guys drink your own piss to survive? All right, I just got done watching 127 Hours, a film by Danny Boyle. Uh, I like the fact that it's short and it gets straight to the point. All, the whole entire story is simply uh, Aaron and The Rock. You guys have to really ask yourselves, would you really do what he did? Uh, would you take as long doing it? Would you just get straight to it? I personally, I can easily say that I would do it, but I honestly do not know. It's a great, great story uh, based on a true story. Don't forget, make sure if you're going somewhere, somebody knows where you're at at all times because something like this might happen. All right, you guys, it is 7.15 p.m. Uh, I'm going to help my wife out with a bath and then I'm going to take a shower myself. I want to clean up the house a little bit and, uh, and then I'll move on to the next one. Okay, I just got done giving the kids a bath. Bath time is over. They're watching a show right now. And then they're gonna go to bed and I still have to shower. After I shower, I'm gonna put them to bed and then I'll watch my next movie, which is number five for today. Uh, and some of you might be happy to know that it's a Blu-ray. I know I haven't watched any Blu-rays uh, during this challenge and you know what I mean, that's, coincidentally you know but yeah I after after this morning watching 28 days later and 20 weeks later uh, I just finished 127 hours and I I still have the same I'm still I'm still in the mood to keep that sort of uh, genre up for the rest of the day so I decided uh, the next movie that I'm gonna watch is gonna be The Crazies. The Crazies came out in 2009 or 2010. Uh, it's sort of a zombie movie. Sadly people aren't talking about it anymore. I remember when it first came out uh, I kept running into people that had seen it and liked it. I haven't met anybody that didn't like it. I enjoyed it very much. I thought it was very creative, very different. And uh, zombie movies are not easy to make. A lot of zombie movies go straight to DVD. Uh, people never know that they're out there. It's just the same story. But this one, I really, really enjoy. I like it a lot. It's roughly uh, an hour and a half, an hour and 45 minutes, something like that. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna hop in the shower and then I'll go ahead and watch this. All right, you guys, it is 8.10 p.m. I just got out of the shower and I'm gonna go ahead and watch The Crazies. This small town has a population of 1,600. That is small. Is it just, is it just me or do Blu-rays look a lot better than DVDs? I keep asking myself, if this movie actually falls under the category of zombie movies. It is a horror movie, but uh, I mean, if you want my opinion, I think it does fall under zombie, under the zombie category simply because the zombie apocalypse is an infection, an infection that causes you to uh, you lose your mind. You're dead inside, you're not yourself, and you just have rage and the urge to kill. Difference is zombies will go around and they want to eat you for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. 
uh, in the movie Crazies, they did, they don't do that. Uh, they do have rage, but they have the urge to kill everyone in sight. Uh, yeah, but if you want my opinion, I think it's pretty much the same thing. You know you have a real friend when he is infected, uh, has urges to kill, and he still gives his life up to save you. Now that's a real friend. It's about 9.30 and I think it's time for a snack and a drink. What do you guys think? Lays? Why not? I've seen three zombie movies today and uh, yeah, I'm starting to question the government. Are we really protected? Ask yourself, are we really protected? All right, you guys, I just got done watching The Crazies on Blu-ray. I gotta say, uh, I don't know if you guys can tell pretty well, but this movie looks really, really good on Blu-ray. I got it for five bucks at Target. If you guys do not have it, go get it. If you like zombie movies, this is a must. If you like horror movies, this is a must. For the longest time, I told people that The Crazies was definitely my favorite zombie movie of all time. If you're a zombie fan, I, I'm pretty sure I haven't seen as many zombie movies as you have, but uh, just got done watching it and I still gotta say it. This is my favorite, favorite zombie movie of all time. Some of you might not even think it's a zombie movie, but I do, I think it falls into the same category. And uh, yeah, really, really enjoyed it. Another thing that I forgot to mention that I absolutely love is uh, I love movies that take place in like a day. Those movies, I think they're very hard to do because you gotta keep the audience interested and entertained at the same time. Let me go ahead and share with you guys the next movie that I'm gonna watch. The next movie that I'm going to watch now is The Descent. This movie is about six women that want to go explore caves. They're very adventurous. Little do they know, one of the six decided to plan for them to discover a cave that has never been explored before. For the longest time, I told people that The Descent was my favorite horror movie of all time. It has been a very long time since I've seen it, probably about three to four years, but whenever I did first see it, I watched it like every other day for a month. I really, really liked it, but a lot of horror movies have come out since then, so I figured I put it in right now, I watch it and see if it still stands its place. All right, you guys, as you can see, it is 9.54 p.m. and it's still Tuesday. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pop that movie in, The Descent, and see if it still stands in first place for me. And just look at that face. Yeah, that's definitely somebody that you do not want to mess with. Um, all right, so I just got done watching The Descent and I gotta say, I think it still holds first place for my favorite horror movie. It's very adventurous, very thrilling, very suspenseful. Uh, I forgot how many scare jumps it has. It has a lot of them. So if you're, if you're a fan of that, this movie is definitely something worth checking out. It's actually still a little early. I know this is number six, so... Uh, Looks like I got lucky today. I'm gonna watch one more. I do know what I'm gonna. I, I do know what I'm gonna be watching, and it's not that long. I'm gonna show you what time it is, and then I'm just gonna get it over with and watch it. I am going to be watching Silent House. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. I do not own it. It is on Netflix. I've been hearing a lot of mixed reviews about it. Some people like it, some people don't. Some people get it, some people don't. The thing that got my attention is 
the fact that this movie was shot in one take meaning there is no cuts straight from the beginning uh, the camera just keeps on rolling following this one character throughout one house I love stuff like that because you know that the filmmakers worked really really hard to get the footage that they wanted to get meaning if it wasn't right the first time they had to redo the whole entire thing till they were satisfied with the one take it is 11 41 p.m. it's not even midnight yet and right now is a perfect time to watch a new movie and end day three it's only an hour and a half long I will be completing day three with seven movies I'm very proud of myself I hope you guys are proud of me too and uh, yeah I'll go ahead and watch it right now all right I just got done watching Silent House um, it did have a very slow start at first I, I didn't like probably the first 10 15 minutes of it but it definitely got a lot a lot better I was actually surprised about how much I started liking it uh, I started liking it a lot till I got to the ending about the last 15 minutes so the first 15 minutes wasn't that great and the last 15 minutes wasn't that great uh, but in between was awesome I really really enjoyed it but like I said the ending was just very amateur it sort of felt like they couldn't figure out like it sort of felt like they had a great idea whenever they were writing this story but they didn't know how to end it and you can definitely tell that they probably settled <laughs> uh, either way if you guys want to watch it you know what I mean it's it's a it's an okay movie it's alright uh, but I probably won't be buying it I probably won't ever watch it again but either way it allowed me to have seven movies today so there's a positive side of it uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go to bed I'll see you guys tomorrow morning uh, let me show you guys what time it is first it is 1.07 a.m. Wednesday so that concludes day three I got to watch seven movies today and now it's time for bed good night you guys